guys. So I've decided to do weekly vlogs. Rather than doing daily vlogs, I will start having one vlog up a week from clips throughout the week. So I started this Saturday, today is Tuesday, and I am not happy with the footage that I got because I, I had a really hard time adjusting the lighting on this camera. I don't know why, for some reason, I didn't even think to, to like, try to look at the settings on the camera. I just thought that like it was the lighting in my house the whole time. So the lighting has been so bad and so dark and you haven't been able to really see anything. So I've decided that I'm just not gonna upload that footage. Really nothing much was going on. That's another reason why I decided to do weekly vlogs because on like a daily basis, I mean, I'm just a normal person. Matt and I live normal lives. He goes to work. I go to work, um, I don't work nearly the amount of hours that he does, um, and I also work from home, so it's a little bit easier for me to vlog, but still we do have like just normal <laughs> lives. We don't have that many exciting things like happening on a daily basis. Of course we have exciting things going on since I'm pregnant, but there's just not like a ton of stuff going on. So I've decided to do weekly vlogs. Um, I wanna start doing weekly vlogs for a lot of reasons. One, I wanna start preparing for when um, our baby is here so that <clears throat> we can just basically like have that footage. I wanna vlog the rest of my pregnancy because I am 21 weeks now, so I'm halfway over, halfway through now. So I just kinda of really wanna update like and vlog this part of our lives right now because it's a time that I feel like we can cherish for a really long time. I will insert a clip after this though that may not make sense. It was just like me updating on the cleaning. I basically had boxes everywhere at the beginning of the vlog last week and I was updating you guys on how much I got done and how much I cleaned up. But since I'm not using that footage anymore, the next clip won't make sense. But I'll go ahead and insert that clip of me just showing you guys what I did clean up just because I have it and I filmed it once I got the lighting right. Um, and then, yeah. So here's that clip. Since the last clip that I'm sorry this whole vlog is going to be so dark up until now, I finally figured my stuff out, you guys. You don't understand how excited I am. But since that clip, I've done a ton. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got done. Um, I don't know if I'm going to insert that clip anymore because I'm so upset with the lighting, but let's show you what I did. So you guys saw me clean up this corner. These flowers right here I have because these were for, for our gender reveal party and we didn't end up using them because we got them if she was gonna be a boy. But since she's a girl, we are going to, I'm gonna make like a little flower arrangement thing because also Matt put up these for me which were also, are also from the gender reveal party. And um, this was everyone's way of writing if they thought it was a boy or girl. And this one up here is the old wives tale that I filled out before. But we're gonna put, I'm gonna put like flowers around here of white, pink, and blue, which I think will look really cute. So we also hung these up, which I think looks cute. He's just chilling. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my pregnancy pillow because it's just, it's huge. This it's area, a great pillow to have, though. it is, it works amazing, but it's like huge. So, I cleaned up all of this area. Ignore this right here, I'll get to that in a minute. But I've cleaned up everything. I finally got the crate stuff cleaned up. Ignore the bathroom, <laughs> I'm working on laundry, okay? But I finally got the crate stuff cleaned up. Cherokee's just chilling. This is cleared up. The only thing is this has not been done yet, okay? I don't wanna talk about it. So everything's pretty much done and then I still have to put the laundry away. But besides that, everything has pretty much been cleaned up and I'm so happy about it. I This has been driving me crazy. All the boxes everywhere. Now, these boxes that I haven't gotten to yet are, this is her clothes, this is her like just other miscellaneous stuff and this is from the gender reveal party this needs to go in storage and then these two i need to wash the clothes and this one and this stuff i need to wash some of this this is like sheets towels washcloths things like that for our baby so yeah i still need to do all that but i'm so happy with what i got done and i'm also so very happy that i finally figured out the brightness on this camera i cannot believe i've been sitting here filming this vlog all week with that crappy quality i've been so upset like i'm like 
Ugh, I don't know, but I'm so relieved that I finally figured it out. So now my vlog should, vlogs from now on, my weekly vlogs should look a lot better. Thank goodness. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my honey mustard, my homemade honey mustard. I'm going to make it tonight to go with the chicken. I already have my potatoes in the oven. I literally just chop them up. I always bake them in the oven because it's so good. I put a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper on them, and maybe some Italian seasoning. And then what we do when they get out of the oven is we put malt, vinegar, ketchup, and hot sauce on them, and it's so good. But I'm going to show you guys how I make my homemade honey mustard because it's delicious. And we're like sauce people. I know like you shouldn't dip your s everything in sauce, but I like to, so whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I am just doing it straight into a Tupperware container because the little bowl that I usually use for like my dressings currently has my homemade ranch in it. So I'm gonna do it right into this. You're gonna need equal parts. <laughs> and I'm doing double the recipe. He just told me to do double the recipe. I tried to get a smaller container. He told me it wasn't big Come enough. Come on now. So, usually you would do a fourth a cup of mayo, a fourth a cup of mustard. Now, what, what mustard you use is up to you. I did it, I've done it both ways with just Dijon and just this one, like regular yellow mustard. I'm going to mix them tonight because he likes the yellow mustard more. And I don't know which one I like more because I think they're both really good. So I'm going to mix the two together. So I'll do about a fourth a cup each. And then a fourth a cup of, or a half a cup of honey. So because I'm doubling the recipe, I'm doing a half, half, and a half. So half cup of uh, mayonnaise, half cup of mustard, half cup of honey. Um, but if you're going to do like just a smaller amount, you can always do a quarter of a cup. So I'm going to start with that in here. By the way, my trick to get anything out of bowls or like measuring cups or anything is just to use a spatula for everything and then you literally have like nothing left and it works great so there's my half cup of mayo now I'm gonna do a half cup of mustard which like I said I'm just going to mix these two so this one I love this one and they took it away but they brought it back I found it again this is the French's Dijon mustard made with Chardonnay it's so good and then we have just yellow mustard. So I'll do about a fourth a cup of each. I'm just going to eyeball it into the half cup measure. But if you want it to be exact, you could always get your fourth cup measure out and do literally a fourth of each. But I'm just going to eyeball it. Half cup of mustard going into my container. Last but not least, half cup of honey. And the honey is now going into the rest of the mixture. Then we're just going to add two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. Whoa, buddy, almost went over. And a little bit of paprika. And this is just to, like, eyeball. So, yeah. And then we're just going to mix it all together. I like to do it with a whisk because I feel like it just mixes better. So, this is what your honey mustard should look like. I'm just going to try it for you guys. Oh. It's so good. I'm going to put it in the fridge till we eat dinner. I will keep this in the fridge like this um, and use it throughout the week as we need it. So here's Matt's plate. Chicken tenders, broccoli and cauliflower, and the potatoes. I put malt vinegar and ketchup on it. Yum. Don't judge me. <laughs> what are you doing? So I can hear when you yell at me. Oh. Um, I just need to get um, a fork. Do you need a knife for your chicken? Um, yeah. Probably. And do you have a drink? I do. Agua. Oh. And the honey mustard. Okay, so we finished eating dinner. I'm going to show you guys what's in this bin of some of our baby's clothing. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it, but I will show some of what we have so far clothing-wise. The first thing that Matt's mom got says, Sorry boys, daddy says I can't date till I'm 30. So that's funny and cute. Then Matt picked out this for her when we were at Target one day. Let's see. It's just this little set that says, me and daddy make a great team. Um, and it has a polka dot one. I'm not in love with this one as much, but he knows that. And then 
this just plain navy onesie in the back. So I think this one's really cute. I like the navy one a lot too. This one's cute. It's just not my favorite. But this is also something else that we got her. The next thing that Matt picked out when we were at Target one day is this really cute little like sleeper um she is going to be born in february so it's going to be really cold if it's anything like like last year i'm getting tongue-tied if it's anything like last year last year was so cold like it was freezing um the entire winter so i really want to make sure she's warm so we're trying to get a lot of warmer clothing but it has this little box on it it's super cute i love it um so that's one of the items that we got this next one i picked out and first of all look at the little ruffle butt it's so cute and then the front of it looks like this i just think this is the cutest thing ever it's at target oh it's just so cute so yeah i love this one then i got her these little pants from target this says happy heart it's focusing on me i don't know if that focused or not i couldn't really tell but these are so cute they're so adorable. They have a little ruffle butt again. I absolutely love it. Super cute. So those actually go with this that I got. Sorry about the birds, you guys. Goes with this three-piece set of onesies. So this one, which is super cute. Um, this all kind of is like the theme of Target right now. And then this one that matches with the pants. And then just a plain gray onesie in the back. But I thought that was super cute. Matt's grandmother got her this, which is super cute. I love it. Um, it's got little bunnies on the feet. It's so cute. Um, I love this. And this is zero to three months. I believe most of this stuff is zero to three months or newborn. Um, yeah. So Matt's parents also got her this. This one's really cute. It has two little bears, a little bunny. It comes with a little hat and the cute little um, feet pajama bottoms thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I love this one as well. And Matt and I also got her some little hats. When we were at Target, Matt picked these out. They're so cute. It has a little bow. And then there's this one. And then there's a plain gray. And they all have like the top knot on it except for this one which has the bow here these are so cute <laughs> so these are little shoes that um i think matt and i both chose together they're i don't really know what animal it's supposed to be but they have i mean literally look how cute so these are going to be really good like i said it's going to be really cold when we have her so these will be perfect to put on her feet with probably socks too um during the winter time if she doesn't like if she has some of these pairs of pants here that we have don't have any um like footies on them so these will be really perfect for that so to make sure that her feet stay warm throughout the winter and um also this was some stuff that matt and i got from old navy for her so these shoes were on clearance um they were because they're summer little sandals they're so cute we got these how much were they like three dollars and 40 49 cents they're so cute these are six to 12 months which is going to be perfect i'm hoping they're going to fit her around six to seven months because that'll be like july august ish i think august might be six months actually but yeah maybe in august september she could wear these i mean it's still 80 degrees here and it's october so i mean she could i'm hoping if the weather's anything like it is this year then she can wear these all the way through october next year and it'll be perfect so i'm hoping from august to october she could hopefully wear these they're so cute so we got those and then we did get these which are um i think these are three to six months yeah and matt chose these and these are so cute they're like pink with like this rose gold like overlay on them almost <sighs> so cute i love them um and these are three to six months so these will fit her more throughout the beginning of summer and probably last till maybe like the end of summer around august or september so yeah love those with that we got a little summer outfit once again all this summer stuff was on clearance at old navy this is only five dollars <laughs> This is three to six months, so once again, prime time for the summer 
I'm obsessed with this. Look how cute it is. I cannot wait to see her with her little diaper hanging out. Oh my god, it's just going to be so cute. I love this. So the last thing that I'm going to show you guys for today is this really cute, fluffy, like, I don't even know what to call this. Matt's dad picked this out for her, which I think is super cute. It has the little hood with the little ears oh my god i'm so excited to see her in this i'm so excited um but this is perfect it's zero to three months sorry about mace all up in the business it's zero to three months and this is gonna be perfect like this it was freezing last year so i just think this is adorable and it's so soft i cannot wait to see her in this so i love this one that's some of the clothes like i said it's not all of it we definitely have more than that but i if i went through this whole thing i would be like that's a whole video in itself so yeah i just showed you some of the stuff that we've gotten so far so yeah Okay, good morning. It is Wednesday morning and it is about 7, 7 o'clock, a little after 7. We are on the way to my doctor's appointment. I'm tired. <laughs> so, yeah. I made my coffee. I have my water. You always have to, like, I feel like I always have so much pressure to drink so much before the appointment because I have to pee every time I go in. And... Well, because they make you and I yeah luckily the um, my doctor's office is like roughly 45 minutes away so um, we've got some time yeah I have time to like chug water and stuff but yeah okay so I just adjusted the brightness and for some reason it's still showing super bright um, <laughs> what is happening why is this so bright what is going on maybe if I like turn that down a little bit um we just got out of my appointment um everything's good that was like one of the quickest appointments I had to get my flu shot and she checked the baby's heartbeat and that's it I'm a little like don't really know what's going on they didn't check the baby's fundal height or my fundal height so I don't know what's happening with that because um I thought they were supposed to check that today so I don't know what's going on with that don't mind the chicken feed in the back yeah but they didn't check my fundal height but my next appointment is my diabetes appointment that's another four weeks so yeah basically besides that not much is happening uh, they found the baby's heartbeat, asked if the baby was moving to make sure I was able to feel mu movement of the baby because it's about the time where I should be. And that's pretty much it. So. We literally spent more time in traffic trying to get here. Oh my god, look how bright it is. Look at what you did now, baby. You're always messing stuff up. Okay, honestly, hold on. So we literally spent more time driving to the doctor's office than we did in the doctor's office. I knew that was gonna happen though. I knew it was gonna be a quick appointment. Like I knew, like our appointment started at eight twenty. It's not. It's like we got out of there before nine o'clock. Like I knew it wasn't gonna it was take like that long. We waited longer in the room waiting for her. That's usually what happens. I feel like though, we waited longer waiting for the doctor to come in than whatever. Um, and it was really cool because the doctor I had today was the doctor that delivered one of my nieces, which was really cool. She was really nice too. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> That was a super quick appointment, and we're about to drive by the fairgrounds because the fair starts tomorrow. But yeah. Are we going to the fair tomorrow? Going to the fair tomorrow? Don't or know. Friday or something? We'll see. But yeah. That was just, it was a really quick appointment, really good appointment. I always get so nervous before appointments, you guys, and I don't really know why. I think it's just because, like, I hate the doctor with a passion, but I really have not had a bad experience. I've had a really good experience with these doctors. Like, honestly, it's gone very well. I'm very happy with the OBGYN I chose, so that's always a good thing. 
okay guys so we are back from the doctor's appointment i just filmed my 22 week update video um i clearly put on makeup um but yeah now we are just kind of chilling um i don't really know what the plan is for today because to be honest still up for delivery oh we're waiting for some stuff so we can redo our countertops in the kitchen. So I'm very excited about that because we already did the cabinets. We did them gray because they were like a brown color that I didn't love before. So we did them gray and now we're going to do the countertops and that stuff is in the mail today. So I'm excited. But um, unless that gets here, we probably will start doing something with that today. But we'll just have to see. But until then, we're probably just going to be chilling. Um... I will probably go ahead and edit the video I just filmed and then yeah I don't really know what other plans we have for today but that's currently what's happening he's gonna show us what he got our baby it's so, just one little outfit but one it's, little outfit it's really cute Hold on. so let's dig in the, in the pile of clothes here before we wash everything <laughs> so it's a little Oh my god, it's so cute. Little track suit thing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> baby Mia gonna be styling. So cute, I love it. Really cute. And I mean, I'm not a cheap shopper, but I could have passed this up. It was only 10 bucks for the outfit on Amazon. Yeah. And it's Amazon Prime. Yeah, really cute. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Like it? Yeah. You think baby Mia's gonna like it? Yeah. Cool. But we also got the stuff to do the countertops, so we are going to do that now. Ooh. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna start to clean off the countertop. So I'm gonna show you guys a before. Um, we have a couple things on the counter, just ignore it, but I'm gonna show you guys the before. So this is the before. We already painted the cabinets gray. We didn't stain. stain them, excuse me. And then this is the countertop the before. Um, this just doesn't really go with the gray. So we. It kind of does, kind of doesn't. It, yeah. I mainly. It's too dark. It's dark on dark and dark on dark, and it's too much. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it really goes that well. So we're going to clean off the counters, and then we're going to put. We're going to start this. We're going to see how well it works. We watched a lot of videos and did a lot of research on how to change the style of the counters and, like, I guess the cheapest way possible um, without, like, having to, like, completely do, like, redo them and put actual marble in or, like, something oh. like that. So, go ahead. Eat your food that you spilled the other night. Yeah. That's what we're going to do now. So we have this fully taped off and good to go. And then now um, I'm going to show you guys what we're using. Sorry about the mess in the background. This is where all of our stuff is going right now. Um, yeah, let's see. This is what it is. It's called Gianni. It's supposed to be, um, it's called the White Diamond Kit. And it says, create your own granite DIY so it just comes with a whole bunch of stuff in it I don't know if you want to open it up so we can see what we got <clears throat> got your sponge got a roller two applicators sponge brush you got your primer <clears throat> your gray stone your quartz and your white limestone and then your top coat. It's this like, is glitter top coat. That's what Kimmy wanted. That's what Kimmy gets. 
No, but on a serious note, if you look on Amazon or you watch videos on YouTube or their website or anything, it looks really pretty. It looks real. And the glitter top coat is super, super cute. It's very so. pretty. But like she said, this is for creating like a granite effect. We're going to actually try to do it marble. Try to do marble effect. Yeah. Because granite, you know, it has that the splatter, you know, speckled stone look, um, which is still pretty. But we like the white marble look, so we're going to try to replicate white marble. As best as we can. We're we watched, a shot. We've watched I've a, watched a ton of videos. Yeah, he's watched more videos than me, but we spent like a, a night watching some videos of this to see what we could come up with. So that's what we're going to work on now. And I'm just going to, this is basically going to be one big time lapse. And you guys will kind of see the process. I may slow it down in a few spots, speed it up, but we're going to get started. And I'm going to figure out where I can put you all. So and you'll be able to see everything. I know from doing research and watching videos and stuff, we do the base coat, which is white, and paint all of it first, let it dry, and depending on how that first coat looks, if it's white enough, then we can go ahead and start doing the marble effect. That says black base coat. Did you read that? That says black? Yeah. Iron cool, it should be white. Black base coat, oh no it's black, okay. Yeah. We're gonna use the black base coat that it comes with. And then, depending on how, I mean it's black, so black usually covers pretty well once you roll it on. Once we roll that on, we have to let it dry, I think it's 10 to 15 minutes for it to start getting tacky. And once it starts getting tacky, we can start sponging on the white. Um, we'll probably cut that sponge up into four pieces. Um, that way she can be using it, I can be using it, we can both be dabbing at the same time. Um, once we get it covered in the white, then we'll start going in and doing what they call the marble veins. And start marbling it and then scraping you it. You have to put the other colors in too though. Yeah, of course. For the white, but yeah. <coughs> it's basically like you speckle on three different colors over the base coat and then you can add the veins or whatever effect you like. And then you add like the glitter top coat on it. It's yep. it's pretty cool. So it's, we're gonna. It, it comes out really pretty actually. So oh, let's pray this works. Let's see. We have to wait eight hours for the primer to dry before starting on step two. Eight hours. So we're not doing that until tomorrow. I got a little bit of paint on my wall right there but besides that here is what it's looking like so far this is just the black primer that we have on here right now and we have to let this dry for eight hours we thought it was not that long but it definitely says eight hours so we are basically stuck at this point we cannot do anything else until tomorrow um and Matt does work tomorrow, so realistically, I don't know. And I work till 6 too, so realistically, I don't know how much we'll get done tomorrow. Um, but we will at least try to speckle tomorrow night to get some more of this done. But as of right now, we at least have the base primer coat on. Um, what time is it? I have my phone right here. And it's five o'clock, so we have to let this sit till tomorrow. Um, obviously, like I said, so we're gonna wait and let this sit, let everything do its thing, let it dry, and then we'll pick back up on this project tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit in here. There's not much I can do. Um, probably just push the stove 
the stove back just a little bit so I can cook dinner on it tonight. I just don't want it to get too close to the counters. Um, I actually might even cook dinner right here. It's still plugged in. But I don't want it to get too close to the counter so I don't want anything to splatter on it. So I think I'm just going to leave it right here to cook dinner tonight. And then yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Okay, so I know you guys can't see me very well. It is the end of the night. I am going to have two cuties and I'm going to bed. I have to work tomorrow. I don't know how much of the vlog, if I'm going to vlog that much tomorrow. I might not vlog at all unless we do some of the countertops. So it'll be a very, very short footage tomorrow. But then um, I'll vlog a little bit more on Friday because I have the day off. So yeah, so that's what's going on. But I am going to bed and Matt is over here. I'm addicted to this damn game. <laughs> but yeah, the, I'm about to run out of memory cards. So good night. Hi guys, so I have not vlogged at all today. It's Thursday. Um, I didn't expect to though. I was working from 11 till about five, a little after five, and Hurricane Michael was going over us today. Um, so like in the middle, right before, pretty much like, I was supposed to go off at six, so right before I was supposed to leave, 40 minutes before the power went out, um, it actually literally just got back on. We just got back home. We went to go get a salad from Chick-fil-A. And then we just got back home um, and we are going to do the countertops um, in a little bit. But literally as we walked in the door, I was ju just pulling out the fairy lights to go like put everywhere and then the power came back on. So yay to that. But yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, not much is going on today. I'm going to film what we do with the countertops, but it's going to be like pretty much nothing happening today because like I said, um, I was working all day. The power went out. So there's been nothing to vlog. So yeah, but now we're going to chill out for a minute. Um, watch the Jake Paul video that came out today. And then we're going to work on the counters. It has now been almost 24 hours since we did the counters. So yeah, we can definitely do them now. So that's the plan. Ignore the pan over here. I had to make myself eggs this morning. I don't have a way to clean it right now because our kitchen sink is currently preoccupied. <laughs> we are finally about to do, um, hold on. I need a sip of water. We are finally about to start doing the countertops finishing them up so hopefully. yeah hopefully so we're gonna try to take you guys through some of this process of using this kit again so let's see what we got like so far with just the first coat of white um limestone on it so the battery's running out what we're gonna do now is you go through and you make brighter spots with the li white limestone so like you don't go over the whole thing you just kind of go make some brighter streaks and spots um with the limestone and then we're gonna go on with the streaks i probably will stop recording for a minute because my battery is getting low and the um <laughs> too bad and uh -oh. yeah and i'm running out of memory card but we're gonna do that and i'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done with that do you like it so far it's coming out good i hope it i hope it comes out good yeah. okay so this is currently what my hand looks like but we have started to do the veins and I haven't really showed much of it. We're definitely not done, but here's the start. Matt's currently blending out the ones I just did. Oops, sorry, there. And then here's what this side looks like. So we're starting to get the veins in there. That side has not been done yet, but here's what it looks like so far. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna show you guys how we do the lines. So I'm taking 
This is the black base coat. We're taking this, basically just kind of very lightly with a small brush. You just draw your lines how you think you should. I'm just gonna show you one line because my camera doesn't have much battery or space. Mason, go, come on. Then I may draw just a couple lines coming out of it. And then you take a spray bottle. You have to be careful with this. If you spray too much, it doesn't, it just gets to be a mess. So you just very lightly, we, trial and error is what has happened tonight. You just very lightly spray a couple spots. And you see how it's like spreading? I'm just taking some of the white. I'm dabbing it on the sponge and then dabbing it off. And I just go over the line. Here, let me get back here. So you just go over the line. And then what I'm gonna have to do, so after I've blended it out with my sponge, Mac goes in with his sponge that only has had white on it the whole time. And he kind of softens up the edges where you can kind of like see like the harshness of the gray. So he's just going in and kind of softening up the edges. He's going from like outer to inner, like bringing it in just to soften up those edges a little bit. So this is looking like the finished product almost we just have to put the top coat on tomorrow but this is what it's looking like ignore that we have to fix it but yeah hey guys so it is friday morning now and Honestly, these countertops are stressing me out, so last night I just went to bed. Um, but today, I don't really have much going on. I need to edit my video for tomorrow. I need to get ready. I'm going to do my nails because this is what happened with the paint last night. I'm going to redo my nails, and then I think we might be going to the fair tonight, but I'll keep you guys updated. But basically, that's it. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have been a horrible vlogger. We just got back from the fair. From the clip you saw earlier, I did my makeup and we went to the fair. We didn't do anything but eat. I can't get on any rides anyways. Um, so all we did was pretty much eat and go. We were there for like an hour and 45 minutes. Now we're gonna watch a movie and I'll show you guys which one we got. My house is a mess. But we got, oh, you can't even see. Uh, get down off my couch. We got Now You See Me 2, which we watched the first one like a long time ago, a couple years ago, and we got the second one um, to watch tonight, so we're just going to chill on the couch and watch that. Uh, yeah. So I'm so sorry I did not take you guys to the fair. I honestly just like, it slipped my mind. I didn't even think about it, so oh well, but anyways, um, yeah. So here we are, Saturday morning, and we've decided we are basically covering up everything we did on the counters because I don't like it. It looks super splotchy and there's like drips everywhere. It just doesn't look right, it didn't turn out right. So the kit is meant to be to make like a granite look. So we're just gonna go with that rather than trying to do the marble. If some of the marble marbling peeks through, that will still look really pretty, I think. But for right now, we need to one, like I think, Try to cover up some of this because if you could see it up close there's just like drips on the back the way that we did it we followed some girl's tutorial where she did like a round table and like the very last step of it is to like pour like a thinned out coating of the white paint on top and it makes it almost look glassed over in her video but with the shape of our counters, the way that the counters work, it just didn't, it didn't work. It just made drips everywhere, it made the paint run together. I think the paint was, like if it was too thick, it wouldn't like slide right. And if it was, when it was too thin, it then caused, caused blotchiness on the counter. That just doesn't look right. So it looks like watered down paint in some areas, if that makes sense. So we have decided to do just the granite look, which is just splotching on the white, gray, and black. So that's what we're doing now to try to, fix these countertops. 